today's show <clears throat> is brought to you by True Classic Tees. Now, y'all seen us wear these tees on the show before, man. Extra comfy. And I love the fact that when you're talking about the design of them, I talked about, man, that athletic tailored feel, but at the same time, a little bit more room in that men's section for the guys that used to have them six packs that no longer reside with six packs anymore. But either way, man, it's a dope site, man. They got dope material up there, man, in terms of the T-shirts, long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts, sweatpants, things like that, man. And as D could tell you as well, they do feel really nice and comfy, man. So I definitely like that. But yeah. more important, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is true. This is definitely true, man. But more importantly, we got a promo code for you, baby. That promo code is MOTES. If you use that, you get 25% off at trueclassictees.com, baby. So, like I said, man, don't waste time, man. Get with the cool kids, baby, because these shirts for guys or ladies, you will enjoy them. Okay? Trust me on this one. So, shout out to True Classic Tees. And more importantly, shout out to them for sponsoring today's show. But we did have another move that took place. Where we're switching out some starters and stuff like that. Yeah. Going from my 2010 draft class, partner them, Tyson Aluwalu being the starting nose tackle, to now we're getting Montrevious Adams. So maybe that's the switch that, you know, that wasn't the one that you wanted, but that was the one that you needed. You ever thought <laughs> about that? Yeah. One I really yeah. didn't have my close eye yeah. on. Come on, man. But, it wasn't what you wanted, but it's what you need. Hey, there's some stats out there. You know, we talked about Alex oh, Kazor. St stat me. Stat me, please. He said in three games, the yards per carry allowed by the defense when each player was oh, on the field. Oh, my God. Tyson, five yards per carry. Montrevious <laughs> Adams, 2.6. Oh, right. <laughs> he said stat is a bit broad and sample size is small. So why post it then for a narrative? Something to look at. Something to think about. It's for a narrative, yes. You just said it right there. The stat is broad. The sample size is small. It's narrative. But I do get it. And it's a stat, though. No, no, no. And fair enough. And and trust me, it's all good in terms of posting stats. And I don't have an issue with people that post stats. I just don't do a lot of, like, putting all my resources into it. But in all seriousness, though, man, the reason I think they make this move and why it makes sense, man, um, for what we're looking for right now, Tyson is your traditional nose tackle eat up space he can win in terms of the run game he's not uh over the top pass rusher but can he work in there absolutely but he is definitely more of that just you know sit in that thing keep these linebackers free and let's go to work <clears throat> when you talk about my travis though my travis is more of a 4-3 d tackle he is a penetrator think javon hargrave one foot in the ground, getting north and south, getting vertical. The difference when you're talking about the two of them, one is more disruptive right now, which is what you need, especially when you don't have a TJ Watt. We talk about how do you balance the loss of TJ. We talk about when we're watching them, we don't see a lot of penetration. We don't see a lot of pass rush. We don't see a lot of get off the ball. Well, Montrevis gives you that as an upgrade over Tyson. Different in terms of what they're bringing, but for what you need right now, if you're saying, hey, we don't know what this outside linebacker slash Dean is looking like. We're rotating, guys. We're trying different things. But the one thing that does consistently show up on tape, very similar to what um, I was talking about with Larry Ogunjobi today on my uh, on the film session, was that, man, when you're able to get upfield, sometimes it doesn't have to be right in terms of your gap, in terms of your technique. But because it disrupts time and it disrupts the flow of the pullers and stuff like that, it just allows your linebackers, it allows a guy that maybe isn't winning his matchup to still make a play. And when you're talking about a Tyson Alawala versus Montrevis Adams at this stage in their careers, Montrevis fits that a lot better than what Tyson does. So that's why for me, when I saw the stat of, oh, five yards versus two, I was I'm like, I hear it, but it's way more nuanced. It's way more of that, of what I just broke down to why I think they're making that move. Not the whole scapegoat narrative either, because I did see that floating around that, oh, man. We needed a change. They didn't want to switch coordinators. They didn't want to switch quarterbacks. All right, Tyson, you're the victim. I did see that. I don't think it's that at all. Not at all. But as a whole, I do think Montrevis does give you that type of penetration that you would need, though, man. Like, yeah. Come on. You know it, bro. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. People, people will start a narrative quickly, bro. Come on. Come on. I'm with you, bro. I'm, that's saying that's it. Come on, man. Are you for real right now? But that's the thing. Yeah. Just making a move for the sake of making a move? Yes. You have heard of that before. We've all talked about teams that do this yes 
Yes. Come on. It, this isn't one of them, though. Because I, I agree. I, think, I don't think it's one of them, but people tried to, oh, man, we talk about the offense. We all about quarterback, and now you moving the nose tackle? <laughs> think about it. <laughs> what, what do we holler at all these games? Offense, 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 quarterback, 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 coordinator, coordinator, coordinator. And the move you make is your nose tackle. I'm not buying that conspiracy. <laughs> I think anyone with eyes can I, see say <laughs> our defensive line has to be better. I would agree, bro. Based off how they yeah. played these last two games, particularly mm-hmm. against the run. Yes. And if you think Montrevious Adams gives us the, gives us that spark over Aluwalu, mm-hmm. now you have that stat right there. But also yeah. Tomlin just straight up said it in yeah, the press absolutely. conference. I think Montrevious playing is better. playing better than yes. Aluwalu. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm tough to get a, a good mm-hmm. gauge on individual performances on the defensive line, especially mm-hmm. when I'm drunk at the stadium. But... If this is the move that needs to happen, I'm fine with it. Yeah, like I said, for me, going back and watching them, and especially this last game, that's the biggest difference to me, man. Tyson is more of your fundamental traditional nose tackle, whereas Montrevis, he's a penetrator. He's a, a 4-3 D tackle that we moonlight as a nose tackle, but we moonlight him as a nose tackle, but he is truly a D tackle in a 4-3. Tyson is a true nose tackle in a 3-4 that we moonlight at times as a 4-3 D when we go to our sub-package ball. So everything in terms of this move it does make sense but that was pretty funny when i did see the people with the scapegoat narrative i'm like nah man i mean i get it and it would be easy such to go an there. innocent bystander it would be so easy <laughs> to go there but but you gotta think context wise he's a big enough name that it gets your attention if it you, doesn't get my attention at it, all that much we're honestly. talking about it if think about 35 year old tyson they, they swapping out him much. for a younger guy bro everybody doesn't was, really move the needle but that everybody much. was excited about him coming back this year i was yeah come on so it does move the needle in that sense Come on, he's a fan favorite. Oh, man, he turned down Jacksonville to come back to us and all this other stuff. We felt the loss of Tyson last year when he went down as well. All of that. So, yes, he is a big enough name, but not significant to the point of a Miles Jack or a Devin Bush or any of those guys being switched out. But he's still a big enough name. So that's why they went with that narrative. I I get it. But I don't think that's the case in here. But I do get it, though. Man. Yeah. No, I think outside of the quarterback, what would what's one that would make sense and also really move the needle? I'd say a Jalen Warren over Najee Harris one. Or, I can't or, I can't see us benching any of the receivers. Or There's no way. Or Akello out the starting lineup, Cam Sutton, Levi Wallace in the starting lineup. That would move the needle as well. And granted, it's different right now because Akello is hurt. But if Akello had pulled people his hand, Witherspoon bunched right now. I know, and that's what I'm saying. Like that would move the needle. That would have people like, oh, changes are happening. Yeah, 